as a, as a really strong team of people. Um, we've got a great culture and that really makes, makes coming to work um, purposeful and, and valued. We have really, really neat communities that really, really enjoy having the bank um, involved out there um, in their communities. No matter who's interacting with you, everyone's extremely inclusive. Um, and I think that's a really a rare culture for companies of this size. That relationship that we have with the agricultural community in, in New Zealand and Australia as well. Um, yeah, going the extra mile for our clients is really important and it's a key part of, key part of our business for sure. Feeling empowered to make those decisions within the organisation and, and your voice is heard. The team approach, so it's a very, it's not a I need to succeed or I need to do this, it's a we do this together collectively as a team. So for me the behaviour would be I make you better because I think it's really important to have an empowered workplace where I feel like I'm being recognised and that what I'm doing actually makes a difference. The thing that I love most about the job is its culture. Rubble Bank doesn't treat you like a number. I can go into a lift with senior managers and they know you by name. They treat their staff members um, like family. I really love the people and the passion that the people have for supporting the agri-industry. Every day, everyone will come to work ready to go the extra mile, whether that's at the call centre, whether that's um, out in the field with our clients, whether that's supporting a colleague in the office. Um, that's very much a value that you'll see repeated throughout the business. I think what I really like about Rabobank is that it's got this quite small family-owned business feel to it, even though it's part of something so much, so much bigger, like a global bank. But I think in New Zealand it does really feel like it's a small, connected, family-run business. Part of our four pillars is our employees, so very driven. Um, to help each other and, and drive that culture which flows on um, externally as well. A lot of what we do is just being able to liaise with people and have an affinity for the farmers and understanding what they do and then working that back into our roles here just so that it's realistic and meaningful to our customers. Kia ora everyone. Uh, look, first of all, it's a real privilege for me to be here and um, uh, represent the Rabobank New Zealand team. Uh, and I hope you enjoyed uh, the video there which tells some of the story behind uh, our culture work uh, in recent years. Before I start, I really just want to acknowledge the work that uh, our General Manager of HR, Rose Ford, has, has led this um, project to work for us and, and uh, has led a really dedicated team, but certainly the um, passion and drive from Rose. And it's great we've got a table here like uh, many of the other speakers and uh, it's a proud moment for me to have the team here and, uh, and it's great, so uh, thanks for joining us. First of all, um, I just want to touch on a little bit about Rabobank. Uh, as was mentioned, we are New Zealand's only specialist food and agri-bank. Uh, we were set up in the Netherlands 125 years ago as a cooperative uh, by farmers for farmers. Uh, it was at a time uh, back in the late 1800s when um, uh, Dutch farmers didn't have access to capital, they couldn't plant crops to provide food for their local villages and local communities. Uh, and that's how the cooperative was formed, because people in those villages and those communities who had money literally put it in the jar and it was lent to farmers to produce food. Uh, and that's, that was the creation of our cooperative. Now, uh, 125 years on, uh, we're in 37 countries globally uh, and are among the um, world's uh, largest 30, uh, 30 largest financial institutions. Uh, here in New Zealand, as I mentioned, we have a single focus on uh, food and agri supporting New Zealand farmers and growers, uh, food companies, uh, right through that value chain, uh, from input companies right through processing, exporters, uh, and it was great to, to have the agri theme earlier where we've had uh, a couple of companies that we work closely with, with and very proud of that association we have with them. We have uh, just over 500 people, uh, employees working across 27 locations. Uh, around New Zealand, you know, regional New Zealand, places like Ashburton, Pukekohe, Fielding, uh, and I'm really proud of the fact that we uh, opened our new purpose-built head office uh, in Hamilton back in uh, late 2021. And all of our employees are really proud of the communities in which they live and work, uh, and we'll share some of our community partnerships uh, with you at the end of this session. So, 
Let's get that moving. Uh, look, so our cooperative mentality uh, is a real point of difference for us in the New Zealand market. Uh, and we're continuing to develop our culture towards a learning and results driven organisation. And it's through this that we're able to achieve our goals and aspirations. It's with our one Rabo culture uh, we set this movement in motion. And it allows us to deliver the quality and speed that our customers expect and deserve from us. To become learning and, and result orientated, we've focused on strengthening the following areas. Unambiguous uh, ownership and accountability. Strengthening ownership and clarity of roles and responsibility has been really important for us. Reflection, feedback and follow-up. By taking the time to reflect, we actually learn from our mistakes. Prioritisation and focus. Prioritising better by making decisions based on the right information and therefore ensuring we're focused on the right things. And our values and behaviours form the foundation. Finally, we aim for a good balance between people and result-orientated leadership. And all this comes together in what we call as our culture house, which you can see here on the screen. We make all this happen through a continued focus on developing our culture. We've used the OCI, OEI tool, and thanks to the work that um, Karina helped us with that, to really measure our culture. Uh, we started back in June 2020, and we measured it again in October 2022. And they showed us that, yes, we had a pretty solid uh, culture to start from, but there's opportunities to make it even better. And so continuing to build on our constructive styles and reducing the less effective styles was certainly our aim, and we've heard about that today. And at Rabobank, we did this uh, through a focus on four key pillars building trust and psychological safety, welcoming constructive challenge, giving and receiving feedback, and sharing insights in open dialogue. And here you can see uh, some of our team living our Rabo values by helping out on a client's farm on their community volunteer day, which all of our employees get. You know, building and maintaining our community connections is a big part of our culture and who we are as an organisation. And it doesn't matter whether you're a client facing or in a support role or not, we all have a part, part to play in uh, supporting uh, our clients and our communities. So just moving on to some of the cultural initiatives at Rabobank, and I'd like to start with our culture coaches. Uh, and, and we heard from some of them uh, at the start in the video. We've got, we've got a number of them uh, with us here today. So each of our business units across the organisation has a culture coach who supports our focus on culture. And they come from, as I say, right across the business at all levels uh, and different functions. And they support action planning and culture change initiatives within that local environment. And it was, uh, it was great today for me, we were, a few of us were driving up from Hamilton uh, in my vehicle and, and we had uh, Anu who's sitting down there who's a culture coach uh, for us and our risk team. And to, to hear you know, the initiatives that she's been leading, supported you know, by the head of that function, but the work that she's been leading uh, and the outcomes of that is, was you know, really awesome to hear. So some really great work going on there. And so you know, we've built a strong client-focused culture um, that really uh, reinforces or supports our global mission of growing a better world together. And we continue to grow and strengthen that by re you know, aiming to recruit employees whose values are aligned with ours, obviously have the right skill, sort, skill set, but really important that we align with those values. We have, uh, through initiatives like our employee council, our regional employee webcast, uh, Rabo Live, and culture playbooks on giving and receiving feedback, and constructive challenge, communication both to and from employees has improved. And I now really see that as a core strength. Now there's lots of opportunities for our teams to be involved in their culture action plans with team playbooks, including trust and psychological safety. We encourage our people to recognise uh, their peers through a quarterly Make a Difference award. Uh, we call it a MAD award, Make a Difference, uh, and a peer-to-peer -peer platform called Cheers for Peers. At Rabobank, we also support our leaders to demonstrate leadership and our cooperative mindset to build inclusion, accelerate transformation, and contribute to a better society. We embrace inclusion, equity, and belonging in teams 
not only by doing the right thing for society, but also improving our business results and better serving our clients. And last year, we're really proud to receive our Rainbow Tick accreditation. So, what were the results after all of these initiatives, and, and I guess how do they contribute to changes in our culture? And you know, I'm pleased to be standing here today uh, and confirming that you know we have uh, achieved a significant improvement in our culture results between 2020 and 2022. Uh, and you can see here on the left-hand side, that's where we were back in 2020. Uh, and 2022 in the middle. Uh, as has been previously spoken, you know, as a team of employees and a, as an organisation, we have an aspiration to what the ideal uh, culture is. Uh, you know, that to us is, is, well, whether it's perfection or whether it's mecca, but you know, whether we get there or not, it's, it's the progress and the journey in which we um, work towards. So there are some strong results um, showing that our people are really committed to the bank and their colleagues. Uh, constructive um, behaviours, we're really proud of the fact that we've been able to grow those and at the same time uh, shrink uh, both the red and the green, uh, both the you know, aggressive uh, and, um, and passive um, defensive styles there. So, you know, as I said earlier, there's always more work to do, um, but we do strive for our future uh, or ideal culture um, on there on the right. Um, but we're really pre pleased with the progress to date, but it's a journey as has been mentioned. Just by way of comparison, we also you know, had a look at how we compare across um, financial services. Uh, and as you can see here, um, you know, we're doing well, quite well, I would say, you know, very well when compared to some of the most constructive financial sector results. Uh, Rabobank's represented there in the yellow lines. Uh, and um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's, we're, we're, we're pleased with that, but it's like anything, and certainly from a leadership point of view, uh, certainly not um, complacent. So at a pretty high level, you know, that covers, you know, I'm going to keep it brief, that covers our culture journey at Rabobank uh, in recent years. And as I've said, there's plenty more to do, but I'm really proud of the progress, uh, and I'm also proud of the whole team uh, that has, that has um, achieved those results. And again, I, you know, I really want to call out the work um, of the team that's represented here today, uh, and you know, our culture coaches have been a key driver to that, but certainly um, well led, led by Rose and her team. Um, and, you know, we've, I said at the start, uh, you know, community is important for us uh, and, and that's a core part of our culture um, and we've been lucky enough to build uh, connections uh, right through um, New Zealand, if you like, regional New Zealand, through some excellent partnerships right across the country. And I just want to leave you with uh, another short video highlighting some of those community partnerships. Thank you.